Hello, welcome to another Got to Have. Um, I think the main theme this week is either Hope 181 or Spider Man 1. Is that a surprise? Uh, I let you, the viewers, decide whether it is Hope 181 or Spider Man 1, but you'll see once we get into the video. The gamblers are out. First up is this journey to Mystery 83, okay? Sharp looking book, almost too sharp for me. Okay, I have said this before. Whenever I look at books, it cannot. It's hard to tell streaming from just looking at pictures. But it always gives me concern when I see a silver age key with this razor sharp edges and corner. Come on, take a look. Okay. That gave me great concern. So good luck to the winner of this. I don't know, okay? I'm not accusing the sale of anything. There's nothing disclosed in the listing. I did get a chuckle of um, the listing because the description, let me point out the pre-owned. <laughs> I always laugh at the term pre-owned when it comes down to comic book listing. This is not automobile where it's brand new or pre-owned. Everything is pre-owned. Wow. <laughs> At least in my mind they are. But once again, good luck to the winner. I don't know. Next up is this FF1. Okay, another raw copy, low grade. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Decent looking book. Okay, look like there's a quite. See, the one thing that concerned me about this book, the the erasing issues with the the cover, as if somebody trying to erase the pen mark, that's not restoration. It's going to ding the book, but this is low grade, so it's not a big deal. What concerned me? Can you see it? It could be nothing. It could be just dirty smudges. But the black area, okay, look at the black the black boxes. I see a whole lot of things there that concern me as far as poorly done color touch by an amateur many, many years ago. Okay, that could be just it. But until I see the book in hand, there's no way to tell. It just looks odd to me, okay? So... Here's another picture. So at least the seller put a lot of pictures there. It could be nothing. Okay, it could be just the way sometimes picture shows up that way. I'm not accusing of anyone of anything. Okay, so you take a look at the pictures. Again, the the crack, the two big cracks in the mouth of the monster. Could that be some kind of coloring there I don't know like I said like I said it's just one of those things that see from this picture it doesn't look so bad okay from this pictures it looked like it's just a cover that have a lot of cracks and wave and it kind of doesn't look like there's any kind of coloring on the black area so maybe it's nothing okay maybe it's nothing I don't know until the book is in hand I cannot say this is one of those books that you know, in hand, review it, it could be okay. But as is, is it's a, what do you say? 2.5-ish? Okay, so this description there. I'm not aware of any restoration. Um, it, it might be nothing. It might be absolutely nothing as far as restoration, but I need to see this book in hand given the price of 4500 Good luck to the winner. I don't know. Um, I, I'm more confident on this book compared to the other one. To, compared to the Journey into Mystery. Now here is one where would you do it? Avengers Lot. Complete series. Complete. Would you do it? 
Okay, there are some pictures, but it's a, it's a low grade, 1.5. Once again, okay, I don't even need to bother with zooming in on anything because the pictures is not all that. Okay, I can't say enough about okay, the, but look at this, there are grading per issue up to issue 60. Everything after issue 60, 60s is mostly in fine condition or better. Okay? But at least you, the, the seller give you the grade, even though the pictures aren't great. But would you do it? Somebody did. Somebody paid 8000 with shipping. So somebody rolled the dice. Holy moly madness. Would you do it? Spider-Man 298, 299, 300. Holy moly. 99. Somebody, somebody out there want to be the top dog. Yes. Whoever you are, you, sir, are the top dog. <laughs> You buy this because you want to be known as the top dog. Holy madness. Here we go. Hulk 1, 9.6, 12,500. Is that the sales price? I did put up watch count to double check, so let's check it. Let's check it. 11.5, okay? Holy cow, yes. This book is still hot. 11.5 for 9.6. 11.5. I put this up just to show you. Okay, June, a month, a month earlier, a copy went for 10.9. 10.9. And now it is 11. Given that this book is better center too. Okay, so the, the combination of better eye appeal maybe play into the reasoning behind the higher price okay so it's not cooling off yet folks not yet not yet not when it jumped from 10.9 to 11.5 in just a couple weeks how about 9.2 white page 6800 yes 6800 how about another copy huh 6400 this one is not what's the difference one is white page and one is off white to white is that a 400 dollars premium you tell me the centering on this one is pretty darn sweet okay look at that holy cow it's beautiful beautiful not perfect okay because the two is almost cut off but dang that's pretty nice Compared to this one that is slightly miswrapped, but it's white page. Somebody care about the page quality there. How about Hook One? 62. 1962 Hook One. White page. White page. Low grade, but white page. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, it is 2.0. That's it. From the collection of Kevin Michael McFadden. There you go. Looking nice looking back cover there, right? Look at that. 9400. Is it sold for 9400? It's one of those best offer things. Let's look. I hate doing this, but I need to know. I need to know. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, I guess it is. 9400 it is alrighty let's move on to the next one yes here we go spider-man yes spider-man one still red hot 10 grand for 5.0 goodness gracious yes goodness gracious still a bargain though compared to amazing fantasy 15 can't afford that how about this restore 7.0 for 87.50 holy cow I'm telling you even restore book is getting out of hand three years ago five years ago eight years ago 
my God, when I re- when I returned to the hobby in 2008, oh my God, you could buy this for probably a thousand. 4.0, 7,600. I'm telling you, these books are just flying off eBay. Okay, if you have it and you want to sell it, now is a good time. Things are just flying off the shelf. This week was a slow week for Amazing Fantasy 15. The supply has dried up. <laughs> just, just joking, people. <laughs> the supplies has not dried up, but certainly the appetite has dried up a little bit as far as people chasing up and buying things. Okay, but they are focusing on Hulk 181 and Spider Man 1. But look at this 1.0 top edge trim. Okay, yes, the extra staple is there, but let's revisit that issue again. It is restored because of the trimming, not the extra staple added. That's just part of the label. All right, Amazing Fantasy 15. No cover. I like this listing. Flawless cover. <laughs> Flawless cover. Yes, it's flawless because it is a copy. But there you go. No grade. No grade. A coverless copy for 5300 Yowza, right? Mind-boggling. Hey, can't leave out another key, right? Tale of Suspense 39. 5.0. 8200 Is that the sales price? Hey. Here we go. Here we go. One more time. Is it? Is it? Let's see. Let's see. Come on. 7,300. Yes, there we go. Just want to make sure I get the right thing down. 7,300 for 5.0. That's strong price, okay? I keep hearing this book will cool off. So far, it has not. This is a book you don't see often. A Batman 121 7.0. 7.0. Not, a, not an easy book to find this grade. That's why it's 6275 And here is a perfect example of what I talk about as far as book that is cream page inside, but the cover is snow white. Okay. Love that white cover of that book. Most copies are. Okay, you don't find that many copy of that book with yellow or tan. Whatever DC did with that cover, they did it right as far as the coloring. Show me some love with modern. Okay, almost six grand for this book. I remember this book when I first do the Got to Have two years ago. Yeah, it's been over two years since I started this Got to Have series and. This is about the price, right? For those that bother to check or know the, the market for this book, it's up there. It has been expensive. It stay expensive. It's not going down. It's not crashing. Okay? But it, at the same time, it's not jumping much higher. You know, if you put five or six thousand dollars in, in uh, Spider-Man 1 or FF1 two years ago, you may have gotten yourself a 50% return. Just saying. Just like this book. 5500 A solid price. But just like the other book, right? It's staying high, but it's not booming in return. So if you are seeking return, if you are seeking profit, Hopefully, you put your money in better speculative play. It's nothing wrong with owning this book if you love the cover and Jim Lee. But history has shown that <coughs> there are better books with bigger return in the past two years. Last but not least is my favorite of the week. I love seeing Showcase 4 getting some love. 
lots of love lately. Look at this one. Still a 1.8 for 63.56. Hell yeah. Congratulations to people that own this book over the past year or two or longer because for a long time it was not a big return book compared to, you know, Amazing Fantasy 15. Now it has. So congrats. Now why did I pick this as my favorite of the week? Look at the name of the seller. How fitting is that? Speed Force. Love it. Perfect. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.